Okay, so we want to solve each of these four equations. So let's start with this one. The absolute value of x is equal to 4. So we need to ask ourselves, when is the absolute value of x equal to 4? And you can probably see that it happens twice. That the absolute value of 4 is 4, and the absolute value of negative 4 is also 4. And so it turns out that there are two solutions to this equation, negative 4 and 4, because both of them have an absolute value of 4. When we solve an absolute value equation, the input can always be either positive or negative so that the absolute value gives us a number, in this case, 4.